Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave and today I am Well, I'm a little bit excited about today heading to the border or actually I'm already there You can see it in the side of the window there Taco Bell has brought back the double decker taco This and a few other items they never should have taken off the menu in the first place in my opinion I'll go over that a little later after I assess the ones that I'm about to get today. But I'm going to head over there and I got to make, I think I have to make an app order. So I'm going to make that order and then I'm going to pick it up and take it home. And I don't think that you can get it through the drive throughs I don't think it's on their menu. I think you actually have to get it through the app. So that's how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to go get it and I will see you at home. Okay, guys, a quick note about the app. I thought I had a membership in the app or an app or an account rather but I must have used a different sign in so I have an iPhone so I used the you know, sign in with a with Apple ID basically so what you want to do is if, if this is with Taco Bell's app I'm not sure if it does it with others or not but what it did with me was I placed my order put my payment information in place the order and then it was calling me Apple. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, Apple? Okay, it must be because of my phone, okay? So, <laughs> I went to my profile and it says, I'm known as Apple user. So, I had to update my profile to do my name. So, yeah, just, you know, if you sign up on the app, go into your profile, update your information first before you place your first order. That way there won't be any confusion because when I went through, I updated my profile to where it said my name, David, you know, and then when I went through the drive through window to pick it up, I had told them my name and they didn't see it. So I said, well, it may be under Apple and then they were able to find it. So yeah, just uh, hopefully that'll give you some information to alleviate some confusion in your future. So but I'm on the way home now and I will be back shortly. Okay, y'all, I'm in my run to the border. Look what we got here, a bag. Let's see what's in it. I don't expect there to be a receipt because I did an online order, so I can look that up anytime. So we've got one. That looks to be the normal, regular one. So I got one of each. I got a taco, a normal double-decker taco and a double-decker taco supreme. And this is the Supreme. And we got anything else. I did order four sauce packets. So let's see if they gave me those. Well, I got three. No, oh, I got four. Actually, I'll use those. If I finish these, if they're edible, I'll finish them. I'm sure they are. <laughs> I don't remember them well. And this right here is just a... Uh, it's just a uh, grilled chicken, uh, Southwest chicken burrito, I think is what it's called. It's, uh, I think you can get it for like $2 in some markets. My market, it's $2.49. It was just $2.40 like two weeks ago. They've gone up again, but this is the regular one. It costs, I believe it was $3.29 plus tax. Uh, and this is the Supreme. Of course, you can see the uh, tomatoes on top. What makes it a Supreme is they add tomatoes and a little bit of sour cream to it. I'm wondering if I even get a sour cream in the first bite or not. But let's try them out and see how they are. With the regular first. Y'all, I don't know why they took this off the menu. That, that, that is a perfect take home item. Now for the sour cream.
I'm laughing because it says sour cream. It's supreme, sorry. Um, and like I said, I didn't get a taste of uh, sour cream in the first bite. Actually, I don't even know if there was a taste of uh, tomato in there either, so. So what makes this a double decker taco is the fact that it's just a normal taco, but then they get a tortilla infuse it to the taco with refried beans. So, so much better than those, uh, what is it called? The cheesy gordita crunch crap they've got there. I can't stand the gordita and I can't stand that nacho cheese that they glue it to the shell with. You know, that's, get rid of that, bring these back. You know, those things were, are expensive as heck anyway. If you order normal tacos and you want to try this, get a normal tacos deck. A normal double decker taco same with the supreme you know if you normally order the supreme get that but as far as these two things go man double thumbs up i wish you know there are three items taco bell has taken off the menu that i wish they would put back on one is these i hope they stay i don't know if they're a limited time or not i do believe that they are on the regular menu i don't think it's an app only item they weren't under the online only section on the app they were actually in the regular taco section. Whether they're on the reader boards or on the menu items in the restaurant itself, I don't know. I didn't go through the drive-thru. So I went through the drive-thru, but they have a special lane for mobile orders. But assuming that you can order it that way through the app, you can probably, even if they're not on the actual menu, you can probably order them right at the register. They're probably programmed in. And so, yeah, just give it a try. If you don't see it on the menu, just ask them. Man, they may not be available in your area because it did say that, you know, prices and participation will vary. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the prices of them, they may be higher or lower wherever you live at. The second item is the Mexi Melt. They brought it back not too long ago, but it's gone again. I haven't seen it around. Third item is chili cheese burrito. A lot of you probably don't remember that. It's been a while since they've had that, but they just had a plain chili cheese burrito. Perfect fourth meal food for when after a night of hanging out with friends and stuff. It was perfect for that. Actually, there's a few more items. Another item they need to bring back is, this is for my son's benefit, not really mine. He likes the quesaritas, the steak quesaritas. They used to be on or app only. They're not on there anymore. And then you gotta be really old school for this one. Back when I was younger, they had a taco called the Taco Bell Grande, and it was basically a plain, normal taco, but it was a lot bigger. It was like that long and about that tall, so it was it was a pretty big one. Um, I don't remember how much they cost or whatever, but it's been a while since they carried those. But I think if Taco Bell bring those menu items, they would be pleasing a whole lot of people. Guys, talking about these has made me pretty hungry. I'm gonna finish my lunch and I will see you on the next video. I am going tomorrow to go to Wendy's and grab one of their new Baconators with a pretzel bun. This should be interesting. I've never had a pretzel bun before, so I think I might have a backup bun just in case I don't like it. But uh, I'll put that out in the next few days, so be on the lookout for that and I will talk to you later.